Come on, Scootaloo, pump those wings. Only three miles to go. I'm sure you all know about the Equestria Games. Where Poli this woman is making me want tea and crumpets. Oh, come on! Tell them the fun part! I think she was getting there right before you cut her off. Also, do you always barge into classrooms through the window when you have something to say? Well, good effort, but holding up the lighter teammate only works when you can get proper leverage, which is tough to do when you're shorter than the teammate that's being lifted. I must admit, I've never seen a pony juggling lobsters while balancing one hind legged on an exercise ball before. That would be a tough act to follow. There's a most complicated scoring system, which I will elaborate upon now. Firstly, I'll get to the nitty gritty later. We need to know this stuff, Rainbow Dash. <sighs> Alright, I'll explain it. First, we rate your scores on a scale of 5 to 7 for beginner ranks, 6 to 8 for intermediate ranks, and 8 to 10 for advanced ranks. No, it doesn't matter if someone of a lower rank had an altogether better form than an advanced rank competitor. The advanced ranks do better automatically. Then we subtract your lowest score and average across the board. In the event of a tie, the decision goes to the advanced rank competitors or the students of the hosting academy. <sighs> Believe me, I've seen it happen. Professionalism, Miss Dash, I must insist. Go ahead and insist. But while we're on that, I might want to remind you that professional environment etiquette dictates not reprimanding colleagues in front of students. Bloody hypocrite. You know, professionalism is my middle name. Rainbow, danger, professionalism, Dash. Who will judge you very professionally. We may just be little ponies, but we have hearts as strong as horses. Oh, so you want to get in shape for your competition, huh? Alrighty then. Let's build some hurtin' bombs. Come on, hit that bag. Harder, gosh darn it, I want to see that thing swing. Well, that's a familiar main style. Get up those steps. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come on, lift, gosh darn it. Get your legs under that thing. Sweetie Belle, get out from under there and make Scootaloo do those sit-ups properly. Okay, at first I thought Spitfire was just really intimidating, but now I know that Snowflake is actually just a pansy. And we, of course, already have our cutie marks. I have been trying to figure out what the heck sort of talents a tiara and a silver spoon could represent since 2010, and the closest I've come is a tiara may be representing pageantry. And even if that is the case, it takes a lot more than that to be a good flag twirler, you little brat. Another Cutie Mark Crusader stage performance? No, 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 no. Ducking cover, ducking cover. Where'd I put my earplugs? Where'd I put my helmet? Pony go forever! Yay! Huh. That was actually kind of cool. Do y'all think she liked it? I'm not really sure. Good lord, you are oblivious. Even if your routine will never, how shall I say, take off. Don't let her get to you, Scootaloo. Remember that ladder of escalation. Ignore, discuss, seek help, hold fast, self-defense. Well, she's getting off the ground, so there's definitely hope. With regular weight training on the wings, slow flapping drills and endurance drills mixed in with a high-protein diet and acupressure massage therapy, you'll be up to average strength in a couple of years. If you keep training once you've cleared that hurdle, then your flying will improve by leaps and bounds. But unfortunately, your only hope of flying by the time of the competition is divine intervention, my friend. Times. That's hard. Your muscles need to rest in order to recover and get stronger so you can get the ability to fly. I admire your tenacity, but your method is only going to set you further back. Get this through your thick, juvenile cranium. I... I'm not going. What a shame. It's always the ones that try the hardest that burn themselves out the quickest. If she's gonna quit, we don't want her, and we don't need her! No. You backtrack on that right now and support your friend in her time of self-doubt. Alrighty then, Apple Bloom. Answer me this. Exactly what routine do you plan on doing now that the one who was carrying the flag during the crescendo of your routine is out? Your move, smart one. And who said you had to? Diamond Tiara. Oh, come on. I want to see the other competitors' routines. I know darn well that Scootaloo's going to win, but I still want to see what she was up against. Yes, 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 yes. We are totally gonna get cutie marks in flag carrying. No! Yeah! <laughs>